Hey guys and welcome to NASCAR Heat 5. This is a thing that I'm doing. I am mad in the head. I already know. Now in Heat 4 I was doing a bunch of 100% race length races. Just a, just a few of them like maybe like two or three or whatever. And then when I got Heat 5 and, I, and I've been playing the piss out of it lately. I thought to myself, let me let me search around a little bit and check out some of the features, you know, because I I haven't really I haven't really dived into that much, apart from like the career mode and certain setups and stuff like that. But when I did, I found that you can make your own schedules, and I counted out the tracks. There's thirty of them. And I am going to do 30 full 100% races. I'm adding in stages because I need a fucking break every now and again. And I don't feel like pausing as much. Although I wasn't doing that as much before, but whatever. Stage racing, DNFs are a thing in this game. So that's going to play a factor, especially on the road courses because I suck. So it is a... Weird and uniquely laid out schedule. I placed all these tracks in different spots. No one track has has a second date. It's 30 tracks all there. So, we are going to start off at gate, what was formerly known as Gateway, which is WWT Raceway. I'm still calling it Gateway because the fucking name it shows on the screen is not really appealing to me. And I only know and I know it is Gateway anyway. Now I was fucking around and doing a setup and my god, the cup cars run different from the trucks. So that took a little bit of practice and I'm not much of a setup gearhead or anything like that. So, let's get into this and hopefully not die. All the settings have been tinkered with. It is now time. Lord, pray for me. <laughs> pray for me. <sighs> ah, you motherfucker. Sometimes I feel like this screen is going to end up freezing one of these days and I'm not even going to fucking realize it. It already looks like it is. Alright. Alright, we're here at Gateway. I have my custom setup already put into the car. And I might as well do this just to test out my sound. Just to make sure that if I'm talking or anything like that... It's not loud as piss. Oh, turn you heifer. Jesus. All right. Well, I'm thinking so far so good, at least in terms of sound. Although there's some things that I really want to change right now. Let's give that a shot, shall we? Just hoping that I don't overshadow the game too much. Oh, man. I'm already eating a big plate of shit right now. Uh, 
turn you after turn you son of a bitch. Holy fuck. All this just to get a goal time in practice? Ah. Good enough. Alright, sounds good. Uh, my driving is abysmal. And the race is probably going to be even worse. So... Next session, please. All right. Now it is time. Oh! You squirrely son of a bitch. It's squirrely when it wants to be, but when I really need it to turn, it don't turn worth a shit. Oh, God! Well, I whiffed that corner up. Why is the... Fucking camera angle weird. Like this is my preferred camera angle. I was only driving like I was driving with that view because I was doing a test session. I just hit the fucking wall now, would you? Turn you sack of shit. Just don't wreck into the wall. Jesus Christ, I'm not even driving it, I'm aiming it! All right. that's our run. Back or down. Yeah, that was terrible. 21st! That's surprising. This is gonna be another fucking eyeball, isn't it? <sighs> I am really not looking forward to this, because it... I could barely get the car to goddamn move on its own accord. Head's itching. Eh. Okay. Daniel Suarez does not look like themselves. Truex missed driver's meeting. I don't know how the fuck that's possible. And Ryan Priest is going to go back too. That's not going to make a fucking bit of difference to me. Because I'm going to eat so much shit in this race, it's not even funny. God damn it, let me get to the bottom, you fuck. I feel more comfortable on the bottom. I don't feel so entrapped then. BJ, why are you up here? I don't, how BJ McLeod's in 15th, I have no idea. Beat my ass! Okay, okay, hold on. I, this has been bothering me forever. I wish there was a way to turn that, like, put that fucker somewhere that, like, isn't in the way. Alright, we got a 45 uh, lap stage here. I had to, I had to move the, uh, the fucking bar. You can't see it on here, but it's on my screen. It was like covering up my mirror. 
So I had to put it in the top left corner of the screen. So that way I can at least see what I'm doing. They like haul ass on me in the corners, but I get the run off and they can't fucking get me. How I'm passing cars is surprising enough. Are you fucking shitting me? I'm up to 260? I literally took so much tape off this son of a bitch just to avoid that. Oh. Well, Kurt just ate it. I know what I'm doing for my first pit stop. Taking off more tape. How the fuck am I in 10th? Thing handles like dog shit. Yeah, fuck you, Joe. You ain't getting it. Hart, you brought that on yourself. Should have let me fucking have it. Turn you effort, turn you effort, turn you effort. Power, you're not going to call the caution for that? Fuck. I fucking know. BJ, why are you even up here? Dude, this thing's gonna blow up soon. Harvard. Oh, this thing's already eating doo doo. Because where's PJ McLeod, the king of Gateway? That's a fucking pit just because of my oil temperature being so damn high because of the fucking grill tape yeah I'm not driving this corner as good as I should be Yeah, my car just my car running hot really concerns me especially with DNFs on I'm gonna blow this thing up that and I can't fucking drive one and two to save my life yo get the fuck Fuck this, I'm pitting. Take the fucking tape off, I'm putting it down to 30. I know I'm gonna go like fucking laps down, but I don't care. I need to get that fucking tape off. And I bet you nine chances out of ten, this fucker's still gonna run hot. How much you wanna bet? Glad to see they threw some ice water on my uh, my grill. Well, thank God Daniel Suarez ate shit, too, because, uh, I just completely ate that wall over there. Not pitting. I'm, I only did that because I need to get the free pass. And 
fucking I ate that wall like a motherfucker. How am I not dead? I will push you straight into the wall, I don't care. Never doubt the freshies. But then again, I was getting huge runs. Just pushed up. I nearly ruined Justin Haley's day. Don't kill it, don't kill it. Okay. This thing's a bitch to drive, like it's tight in certain areas and then it's fucking snap loose like in, uh, at the exits of the corners. Because if this thing keeps overheating, I'm gonna have to have no tape on this thing at all. So far, so good. Oh, David Reagan, you fuck. And I'm trying to save this thing from snapping me around. I do drive some butt loose setups, but my god. I'll just like bump and run motherfuckers at this point. Come at me. Surprisingly doing well for a guy who was overheating, went a lap down, and ate shit in the wall. My aerodynamics is fucked though. Oh God, thank God nobody was under me. Otherwise, I would have been around and around and around. All right, so I know not to do that in one and two anymore. Three and four, I do amazing. It's just one and two, I suck. But when I was doing the same setup in a truck, in the truck series, I was doing fine. My ass, Byron. How are you getting squirrely just off that? You're not the one with the ass handling setup like me. Tight in the areas you need it to be loose, and loose in the areas you need it to be tight. Uh, no. Oh, well, it's a good thing that uh, nobody told me to. I again you son of a bitch the fucking wall gets me every time why can't they just have a straight fucking wall like this why is it gotta be crooked and with like little kinks and shit in it to where you just smack the living shit out of it what the fuck No, fuck you all. Oh, because they have, to, they have that fucking shitty opening back there. And they can't have a straight wall like a normal fucking, like a normal track would. It's just a, it's just a reverse Darlington. One and two is Darlington's three and four. My God. Okay, I know what I'm doing the next time I come down pit road. I am tightening this motherfucker up. Got a car high now. 
because I cannot deal with a snapping loose car. How I've even made the 13th is a surprising element to me. It's got a Tokyo drift through the fucking corner because it's the only thing that I'm capable of doing apparently. Yep. Fuck! <sighs> well, I expected that to go much better than it did. drink finished it's like I didn't even show up apparently I'm 35th in the standings let me take a look at these standings all right so Ryan Blaney won that race It doesn't say anybody won any stages. I'm 35th in points somehow. Probably because like all these guys like. All right, so I'm basically tied. I'm in a five way, six way tie for last. With Justin Haley, Ross Chastain, which is surprising because he actually drives good in even the shittiest of equipment. David Reagan, who only raced one race this year. Chad Fincham, who's not even full time. Clint Boyer for su and Clint Boyer for some fucking reason. I know Clint Boyer is not the greatest, but he's also not the worst either. So seeing him down here with me is just like, what? Oh God. But it's not over yet because the next one is going to be Daytona. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, be sure to like, share, subscribe. For more of me eating shit, apparently. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see all of you in the next one.